What's up guys, welcome to your 197th Android tutorial for the new Boston. Again, we're going to be working with AdMob, and obviously we're getting some major problems here. So, we're going to clean those up in this tutorial, and then we're pretty much going to be done. I might show you guys how to, uh, you know, put an ad through Java alone, not using uh, XML layout like we are here. But then we're pretty much done with AdMob. So uh, I'll probably do a quick overview of everything that we've done at the end of this tutorial just to make sure you guys are running properly and uh, you can hit those key points there. So as we can see our ad view is missing the required XML attribute called ad size. So we're going to switch back over to the XML layout and set up our ad size. What we're going to set this equal to be is ads colon ad size because again that's what we we're missing equals and then within quotations banner all uppercase and then we pretty much have our ad size laid out and as you can see this is what's being as you can see this is what it displays to show you know how big our ad is and all that great stuff so that's how it's going to appear again if we wanted to do like a relative layout we can move it around and all that stuff uh, that's about the size that's going to take up for application now the only other thing we need to do is add a reference to our actual ad mob account through the ad unit ID so we're going to change this uh, text here and it's just gonna be you know something like uh, I don't know something like that we're just gonna open up again in our browser admob.com go to the marketplace and then just click on the sites and apps and I'm just gonna shoot down again below here um, and skip over my earnings and all that stuff and then we have our project that we set up a few tutorials ago here called the new Boston basics or whatever you guys labeled your project as and we're just gonna go to manage settings and right here is where our publisher ID is. I'm going to block it out because, uh, again, it's probably against the terms and everything. So uh, just copy and paste that code. Um, so we're just going to copy it there. And we're going to paste it here. I'm just going to make one up, uh, like something like that. And make sure when you guys copy, if there's like a space here or a space at the beginning, uh, make sure you delete those spaces. Otherwise, your ad is not going to work. So uh, just make sure you copy and paste it and uh, I'm just gonna quickly talk through everything and then I'm gonna paste my real code and try and run it on the emulator and talk about that as well so again all we have to do is we have to add our jar into our project it should be under this resource libraries uh, in Google AdMob SDK then we go into our manifest we want to make sure we have the internet permission we also want to make sure we have the access network state permission then we also have to define an activity within our application that has the Android name and then you know this name here and the hidden uh, the configuration set up as well and then we just go into uh, our XML layout or wherever we want to set up our ad and we got to have all of these variables a width an ID uh, to reference in Java if we choose and uh, a height which is both wrap content and then we have a unit ID and a load on create so it's going to load our app or it's going to load or add within the create method of whatever application we use this layout um, as our set content view. And we're also going to set the ad size the banner. So now I'm just going to cut or paste my real code and run it on the emulator. So we're going to go to our first activity here called starting point. We're going to open that up and uh, hopefully we have an ad set up. Um, and the first time you run it, it's going to take a couple minutes before your ad appears. So just make sure you note my time, and hopefully we'll see when that appears. And again, I'm just going to clip the video. All right, guys. Well, <clears throat> AdMob says it takes about two minutes for the first time you run it, but it looks like it's obviously taking longer than that. So I'll probably just catch you guys in the next tutorial. And if this still isn't working by like tomorrow, I don't know if it's because it's like 2 a.m. or something. It's going to take longer. I don't know what's going on, but uh, if if I realize I messed up on anything, I'll let you guys know and edit um, this video, I guess. There should be a little portion at the end, but I believe it will load up. It just still has to register with AdMob, but uh, I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial. Have a good one.